Yeah, I got it. Um, one thing. I was rolling. I, this is how we're going to start with you Ashley d- doing that. It's okay. But it's clips. appropriate. Well, no, no, I, no. That won't. We'll, no, that'll be saved for the Ashley tape. That'll be pulled aside. That'll be pulled show aside. show everybody at some point the next company party. Is it party. really, um, who's fuzzy? I can hear fuzzy. Fuzzy? Go. Fuzzy was he was a bear? Hello, check, check, test. Checking. No. I think you're fuzzy. Maybe. maybe. <laughs> well, we did fuzzy have a shoot before this. Yes. Yeah, so I think it's yours. I think that's why that's there. It doesn't matter. It's no, good. it's fine. It's we good. want to thank our friends at the liquor booth for providing the, the alcohol what? for to, the liquor booth for providing the alcohol for today. We had a little shoot there, some pre Fourth of July fun that uh, we'll have uh, over the weekend on uh, on the site. So, and also just as we uh, talk about the upcoming holiday, uh, we will not be here next week. We will have no. We're gonna have a few. We're gonna have a few shows in the can. We'll have you know the, we'll have. Uh, uh, Brittany and I t- went down to uh, Calhoun County and uh, did a great story about the uh, Cameroo Farms down there. We'll have that next weekend. Uh, we'll have some other things kind of like said in the can, but we will not have any regular daily muddies or what have you uh, as we kind of take a little holiday break because I always try to take some time off around the 4th. You know, since it's my wedding anniversary, and I oh. try to keep my wife happy. Good anniversary. That's a good idea. So, happy yeah. anniversary. Yeah. How many? An- how, Thirty. How, oh no! 30. Oh gosh! Oh gosh! I'm just kidding. It's thirty-one. Okay. You're thirty last year. Gosh. Thirty last year. So That's it's easier. True. That's yeah, true. Right. Okay. So right. Good. I was just making sure. But the other thing we want to talk about is uh, Frankie's going to have his own podcast coming up right after that. You got yes. everything lined out? We're good. We're, we're we're pretty good. You let's make just, it good. I'm let's just make it. Let's just set this. a date next. Yeah, like like week after next. Like next week, no, because we're all I off. Think, I think we can do that. Yeah, I think we can. And do then that. we're gonna rotate. We're we're gonna kind of change Club Muddy into kind of a rotating panel. David will be in. Britt will be in. Steve Einger. Yeah, maybe not Steve, but we'll have rotate people in and have some guests and do some stuff. We're gonna change the format a little bit. And Frankie will still be back from time to time. But mostly Frankie's in his own show where he's gonna bring people on who might disagree with him or might agree with him. How's that? Is it, that a good intro? It'll be both. Good. It'll be both, and, and we'll dig in a little bit and have some fun. Don't and, have, and don't don't the, just bring in like yes men. Bring in I wanna, people who yeah. disagree with you, right? Absolutely. And don't and don't agree with you, men, women, whatever. I want to well, come on. You don't want an echo chamber, right? Like, do. right. like we don't want an echo chamber. Right. I mean, I don't want ever, I don't want anybody to say, oh yeah, be, I agree with that. It's going to be super interesting. I'm not going to blow the uh, the uh, plot line, but it. From what you've told me, I cannot wait to listen. Yeah, it's gonna be so really it'll be cool. fun. So we're going to start that up again the week after the week of July 10th, I guess. That what are we be. calling so, it? Frankie Say. All right. Boom. Frankie Better. Say. Frankie Say. That's cool. Frankie you know, Say. T-shirt, you know, relax. I love Listen. it. Frankie, Frankie Say, goes, relax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I love yeah. that. So, yeah, so it's going to be a lot of fun. And then, um, well, and like I said, we don't have an echo chamber. We don't want to agree all the time. And, and Frankie and I have a disagreement. Boring. You want to talk about Frankie's disagreement with me? No, I was saying agreeing all the time is oh. boring because every uh, nobody likes ahead. to. Yeah, sorry. Yes, he he uh, got to hang out with uh, Casey DeSantis um, oh. on Wednesday, mm. and uh, that was fine. And all Bobby all was good. butt hurt. I, here's why, because and again, once Frankie explained it to me, because he he. Um, sent me a, a picture of him and Casey DeSantis. And, it's, and it has nothing to do with the fact that she's an attractive woman. It's the fact that she's the mm-hmm. wife of a presidential candidate. She's very cute, folks. She's the wife of a presidential candidate. And I think anytime someone's coming in there to represent their husband, father, remember we had Ivanka a couple years ago or whatever? Ivana, what, what's her name? Ivanka. Her daughter? Yeah, okay. We had her Who's before, her, before her, her, her dad ran. And so she shows in the, t- oh. in the town to do a fundraiser at, Qu- at QCC, which is all well and good. And she got the money for her husband, which again, all well and good. But I think anytime these people come to town, they should let the media at least come and talk. Hey, well, you're in town today. Why are you in town today? Well, we're you know, trying to raise awareness because I think my husband is going to be the next president of the United States, going to do a great job, yada, yada, yada. It would definitely but, be good public publicity yeah publicity. i mean the sneaking in and out of town I, i've always had a problem when politicians do that because durbin did it for years back when the tea party was really rocking and rolling uh sadly mary miller's kind of gotten in that habit lately where she like doesn't tell anybody she's coming to town and but again we elect these people who represent us and if we have a problem with them and they're here they should let us know hey we're here we'd love to hear from you and talk about it. i mean i know mary's got an office in town now and everything that's great but still I would have liked the opportunity to just ask her a couple of questions, but I understand that's not what her the campaign wanted. So I'm not. Uh, at first, I was like, "Hey, how did you not let me know?" But then once you explained fully, yeah. I'm like, "Okay, that's fine. yeah." And then once I saw the powerless, picture, yeah, and you know, it's it's not about me. It really isn't. Well, I'd already heard she was I, coming to town. I just had no details. So you want to know a little bit about my opinion of Casey DeSantis? 
Yeah, or should we just, or should we skip to the Hayes thing about two days ago? No, I feel like the Quincy no, Park I District hear... canceled all youth events. <laughs> no, I think that's the, what we really want to talk so, about. No, I think the Casey DeSantis is okay. One, let me go ahead and say, when I saw the picture, I was like, oh, I wish I was invited. Two, she's a hottie, and three, what was she doing here? So those are the three questions, or the three like first immediate, uh, you know, things that came to mind. Are you so, tell us how big a check you wrote to be there? Was it a check? I mean, or were you just invited? I mean, I he was, was. He was invited for a reason. Let's be honest. Ah, uh, moolah. I mean, uh, Gosh, Frank, I don't even know how a, to. It was a fundraiser. Yeah. I don't even know I'm how. Not, I'm not, I'll just, just admit you acknowledge that you wrote a very nice check for your lunch. How's I don't. That? I don't know if I can even acknowledge that. I don't even know if I can. <laughs> I will say this. Or maybe uh, he was just a lucky. Maybe I was just lucky. Extended, uh -huh. like an extended invitee. Maybe, maybe somebody on the welcoming committee in charge thought. Frankie like this. I would think it was fun. Frankie okay. say yes. So you didn't have. So you did not have to write a check. Well, let's put it this way. I don't ever talk about the checks I write. Okay. Like so. Okay, but I will tell you this. Well, you know it will show up on an FEC report, and I will see it someday. Oh god. I understand that. Anyway, I understand that. Tell us what it was. And I just want to say. Why, yeah. I what, just want to say. General feel I, was. Well, I have to sell my house now. My 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 kids are homeless. But no, not not because of that, wanna, but because of another. I just want to talk about. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Go but no, uh, uh, briefly, Casey DeSantis was strikingly uh, good at giving her speech. Shockingly good. I don't think I've heard a speech that good in person in a really long time. Everybody really? who hears her nationally says she should be the one running and not her husband. Because her husband, husband's well, kind of a... let's be real. He's kind of a milk toast. Let's be real. Behind every Side great liner. man is an even greater woman telling That's them right. what to say. Yes. It, yes. it was it, it was ridiculous. Yeah. And and honestly, when I was listening to her speech, I did think about all of you. I, I walked right in before you guys got here. He I did. went right to David Adam. Yeah, he did. And I said, Hey, listen, this this woman is an unbelievable like the whole package. Um, from the five inch heels to the perfect hair to the perfect speaking ability and the words that came out of her mouth and her dress was very was cute. her dress was amazing very, yeah. but what she said is exactly what 70 to 73 percent of people in Quincy and Adams County want to hear yeah I'm just going to tell you that right there sure so anyway her husband is basically trying to be Trump without all the drama and uh, Did I we think, mentioned it's I Ron think it, DeSantis wife. I feel it's like Ron I don't, DeSantis' wife. I yeah. don't know that we mentioned that, so I just want to go ahead and okay. throw that out there for people who are like, "Who's Casey DeSantis?" But also, I think there might have been some element of having her come in here without annoying the because we do have a heavy pro-Trump base in this town. We do. So I think there might have been something of having her hand and not annoying them. I think there's always some something to that as well. But uh, again, it's really strange to me. I get it. I get it. Yeah, it's again. I know. I'm not. Nothing with you or the organizers, local organizers of the event. They're all good guys too, guys and gals too. But yeah, yeah. it's like if, if I, I could have said it. something, Bob. You know, I would have been I know. very, That's fine. very excited. I, I will to say, tell I you. do respect you coming in and fully just throwing it on the table. That was really cool. Yeah, I had to. Yeah. I listen. Cool. I don't want to make this guy. I know. Mad at no, me. but uh, you know, but in today's. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. In today, <laughs> I know that for a fact. This guy I saved know. trees. He's a he's a I'm tree a tree row. saver. He's a tree saver. I'm a tree but, row. But okay. I'm a tree row. Hey, but before it, we get into the moldy courthouse, can yes. I just make a comment about two days ago when the the Quincy Park District that I love. Yeah. I love the Quincy Park District. I've been talking to them a lot lately, yeah. and it's shocking how lucky we are to have the Park District. Oh, yeah, I and, agree. and just the facilities and how hard they, they work. I've got nothing but nice things to say. I just want to say this, though. When I got the call or the text that says that all of my kids' t-ball games and softball games and baseball games yeah, were canceled, yeah. with a uh, um, that was kind of a weird thing. It you know Please. some people says some some people said that it kind of smelled like plastic or polyurethane in the air. To me, burning. it smelled like the year two thousand twenty. It was burnt. Oh, I see what you're saying. But it, I, I could see. The, here's the thing, though. I I have asthma, and yeah. it has. I mean, this last week has sucked. I've been outside a little bit, and like I said, I had to go to. You know, we went down to Calhoun County to do that shoot, and at the end of that day, I got home. I was like, oh man, my my chest was on fire. Was and, it really? Yeah. So I, I think I actually I think, think there's it, there's something to it. it if you if you again people. if you have a condition. It bothers some people. Yeah. However, if you grew up in the age of smoking cigarettes in bars, <clears throat> Ashley Conrad. <laughs> You definitely are not bothered by Canadian wildfires because there's nothing that can happen to your lungs that hasn't already been done. Well, I did that too. Maybe that's why I have asthma now. I don't know. Uh, don't do that. Don't it do goes that. back to the kids, it's though. I'm not blaming old. my dad. It's it is old. because I'm old. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. It's no, because I'm, kidding, I'm old. But I don't know. No, I was. It's I, just really weird. Yeah, I don't. So up, up north, where my brother and sister live, up in Cook County, 
Yeah. Um, the air quality index was like 208 yeah, or something bad. like that. Yeah. It was, that's different. But by the way, when Quincy was at a, Quincy was at a 76 or a 77 two days ago, um, and then I've been checking the weather app every day. And yesterday it said 73, similar conditions. And then today at 68, similar conditions. But it's like, wait, really? I don't even believe this air quality index now. I've it did smell like plastic. Every day. Well, the, Do you the, think it did I smell like the, plastic? I, yes, but it I did. also think the rain this morning helped too, maybe. Maybe it kind of washed some of the shit away. Hey, I don't for know. that rain, by the way. Yeah. That was really that was freaking brutal. stellar. The rain was right. brutal? Oh, yeah. That the was storm like, was brutal, but... I know some trees got knocked down on stage, but, like, but the rain was needed, and we're supposed to have more all weekend, so... It, it just freaks me out that that uh, that people are, are willing to... Well, we canceled school cancel. for a thunderstorm. We canceled school for a I mean, let's be snow. real. Yeah, it's crazy. I just don't want to do that. Let's yeah. just wait until no. it gets really bad before we cancel. Anyway, we gotta get, we got to get some... Uh, I, I'll go ahead and speak for the entirety of all of it like we got to get thicker skin we need to be like i feel like we need to raise um, men and women who are not scared of a little bit of haze not scared of a thunderstorm because then you're like oh god luke texted me today and said are you in the basement i'm like what who do you think i am yes i'm a little bit scared but no i'm not in the basement but you know what i'm saying like we got to be a little bit uh, you got to raise a little bit more resilient kids Ellen was do, was at summer school at, uh, at finished the summer school this weekend she's at, at Rooney and she said the building was was shaking a little bit yeah guess what they used to do upon like tornado warning it's like just hide under this desk and put your hands under your, right. over your head go in the hallway listen yeah we were not going to be saved but guess no. what here we are You're, you lived we here all we lived we all yeah. lived so, hey you know in the 50s they, in the 50s they got under the desks because they thought it was going to stop the bomb <laughs> Yeah. See? Mm, maybe not. Well, I, I don't I, I don't recommend that. Did you see Hiroshima? No. Yeah, I don't recommend that. Uh, However, well, we want to see the Oppenheimer movie, by the way. That's another story. So. But, That's oh, be. but you have to also think, like, with all of the filtration and stuff, like, you're even if you don't go outside, you're going to be exposed to certain things that you can't. Sure. Let's talk about mold. Like gamma rays and mold. Let's talk about and mold poly in the courthouse. Molly mammary. What is it called? Poly mammary? Oh, you, no. are you well, talking about the black mold? The black mold. The mold. Well, I think not I, penicillin. It's penicillium. Pen, penicillium, not which polyamory. Is, uh, <laughs> right. Polyamory. Look what's it, man. Way off See, base. There, there we go. Way again. Off base. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, uh, David, where are you? The, totally missed that. Yeah, the courthouse has mold. Um, right. If you, we have the the Zoom meeting linked um, on the story that I wrote. Uh, I, I sat and listened to uh, before we went before we had our Woodside Homeowner Association meeting on Wednesday night. Whoa. I listened to I, I watched the podcast or watched watched the Zoom meeting, recorded it, and then after the meeting, I came back and watched it again, and then wrote my story, and then this morning came in and tweaked it a little bit, and David had some suggestions, so we did that. So, but basically, this this company that has been paid fifty six thousand dollars by the county um came in and did this testing and there are still many many questions because they came out and said look it's we have unacceptable levels of air contamination all throughout the building and we recommend you not work there we recommend you figure some out some alternatives and that's kind of the first time we'd heard that what i need to know is was that sense of urgency relayed when they gave the report because the guys at the Adams who were with the Adams County officials Adams County board involved in this were all kind of like well we got this report we don't know what it means they really haven't explained it to us yet but this guy and his own team of experts that he brought in I will admit that they all basically said and one guy said it's worst building some of the worst building what contamination guy? I've ever seen what some guy? doctor some like mold doctor some some doctor who specializes in this okay all right so so, yeah. and, the, and then the county, and, and again, they were supposed to have a, a meeting to discuss this, uh, a full committee meeting, but then they thought it was going to, it would end up getting out of the parameters of the Open Meetings Act, which really wasn't the case, but basically they were trying to control the narrative by having everybody submit their questions. Well, when this whole thing came out, let me tell you what should have happened, just from Dr. Ashley here. <laughs> so they should have given all Dr. county Ashley, board, woman. right, except for like the people who are what do you call it when they're uh during covid when you had like you were the susceptible no you had the like 
emergency people like you had the what's it called first responder no you were not your business was not a essential essential, essential. okay yes. so anyone who is not essential in staying at the courthouse should have been sent home to work if you're right? not essential at the courthouse should you even have a job in yes, the first place because people work remotely every day no 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 but what i'm, I'm saying, saying if you're not essential in person ah, okay so right like no. a jailer or okay. like a security guard or something like that they probably should have all been sent home and i don't know if they were or were not but when this first came out that there were potential potential problems at that facility, they probably should have sent these people home. Because now what you have are, um, well, is a huge liability, let's be honest, right? Oh, I think the county's screwed. Screwed. I think they're totally screwed. screwed. And, and they you- didn't do, like, didn't they, they, like this was brought to them how, how many months ago? <sighs> Well, you had you had one one judge who had been complaining for a, a while. Then Attorney Ryan Schnock in November said, "Look, this is really bad." And I guess Ryan went in and he like super did sick. his own. Yeah, and he yeah. did. He got very very sick. Yeah. And then, so then when she, then Tony Grotens became sheriff in December, the previous sheriff um, Wagner didn't really do anything about it. But then Grotens came in and said, "Hey, this this might be a thing. We might need to look at this." So Grotens, I think, started to push it a little more. And then they then the county went with the company that all the pe- the the seventy some odd employees and and the people who work in the courthouse who aren't in, aren't court employees or aren't county employees like like Ryan Schnock, they all went in and said, "Hey, this company's really good. They're really we- well known. They should you should hire them, even though the bid's higher." The other company was out of St. Louis, and their ne- their company name was Fungus Among Us. Yeah, oh. that was their company name. That right? sounds legit. <laughs> So, I, I'm not judging. So they I'm went with saying. Safe Safe Start Environmental. So if you had That's a proposal yeah. from Safe Start Environmental or Fungus Among Us, which proposal are yeah. you going to take? Yeah, I bet you can guess. Because you're a corporate businesswoman. Well, you're, you know. well, and also you're a courthouse, right? A county courthouse. Yes. So you probably need to be a little uh, concerned about what companies you go with now um so they took the higher bid i mean this this okay. they took the more expensive thing because usually it's like okay we're gonna go with the cheapest whatever they went with the higher bid and so this guy came in and he brought his team in they did their tests but my question is between the because they did have findings originally and well they, they didn't have any real any actual findings until they did the, the testing in april the findings that ryan did he did them on his own and yeah okay there were findings but again you I'm still want to still gotta vet now. Right. I'm talking oh, April to now. That's yes. a long time. It is. Yes. So what they I'm do? Kind of waited around to okay. see what they're going to do next. So then it, the question is, okay, now that you have this, what do, what do you do about it? And what's the liability? And what like what are the next steps? And do we know what that is? I don't know. Um, are mm, they demanding that their employees still come to that facility? Nothing is. Ch- I mean, uh, bas- uh, the county issued a news release today that basically said, hey, if you need a mask, we'll give you one. Oh, we know how good those are. Yeah, those do a good job. So I remember um, when Ryan first started having some of these symptoms. He's a friend um, of yours, correct? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, and and he would and he would say to me, he goes, "Come look at this," and he would put his arm down, and his arm is just twitching like crazy. His calf muscles are twitching. His biceps twitching. There's he's getting twitches and and just crazy things happening all over his body, and he did not know what was going on. So he spent a lot of money, he traveled all over the country trying to figure out what was wrong with him. He thought he had ALS, he thought he was gonna die. Oh, devastating. He yeah. went all over, he went to the best clinics in the country and it was kind of, at, 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 at some point, it became evident that he had a mold toxin. Mold related A mold related yeah, toxin yeah. in, his, in his blood. Now, I, I don't know that much about that. I do know that I've heard that some, there's other people that um, have been getting sick over time and they just don't know. So imagine, so for example, um, I bought a house in, in 2019 and when we moved in about three or four months after we moved in, my wife started complaining that she couldn't sleep and she was having kinds of just weird problems, just having fatigue and headaches and didn't feel well. My, my, my only son, my six year old boy, Valentino, complains that his back hurts I mean, he's a super healthy kid. Like, what's the problem? Yeah. The thing about mold and that kind of thing is you don't know, it's not something that's talked about a lot. Yeah. So people who have leaky basements, if people who have fl- uh, flooding basements where they've just got lots of water that comes in you know, sure. in the springs and, you know. Which it, you and Quincy it, doesn't. We have a bunch of old A lot buildings. of people do. So yeah. one thing that I don't think medicine has kept up on, or I don't think it's been to the forefront of the public eye, is exactly... Um, 
the dangers of mold, mildew, different kinds of mold, black mold. Um, my, my wife recently took a blood test where she um, got a bunch of zeros on a bunch of different types of molds. And then one called acrotoxin A, um, off the charts. And the doctors are saying all of her symptoms are, are su suggest that she's got a mold issue. And then when they took the test, it was right there in front. And so now we're, and now if I hope there's no uh, realtors going to, you know, I was going to say, what's this. the liability it's for like, the uh, person I will tell you this. at home? I want to test my house for mold, Yeah, but I'm hearing but some, then it'll be on some the record, realtors. Pal. It'll be on the record. Yeah. But here's the other thing too. If you get, but you would never be the type of person to sell that to somebody. If you get tested for mold, yeah. If what's going to happen is, I think we are going to test for mold, and I'm going to tell my wife, "Don't tell me, don't tell me what the result is," because Plausible someday deniability, when baby. we sell our house, I'm yeah. going to look at it. I'm like, I don't know what's yeah, going on. I don't on. know what's going on. It's the only way to do it. But um, yeah. So somebody buy my house in 15 years when I sell it. Okay. Well, but, here's what. Here's like the. Um, so I always try to look at both Frankie's sides. Frankie's forgetting he's on a podcast, actually, but go ahead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> who's listening? No one, it's okay. No, no, no. But, okay, so here's the other side of the story. So mold, I know I worked at a facility, a, a business here in Quincy for a long, long time, and lots of flooding, lots of things, and I'm sure mold was there, and I know that people were probably sick. However, it wasn't brought up because it wasn't like a county issue. It wasn't like, you know, we didn't- Private business. Yeah, it was a private investor. We didn't have money to just throw at it, so- uh, at what point do you say, okay, here's, here's our liability and here's where it ends. And here, so, you know, you gotta, at some point, I guess it would be in a perfect world, you would probably test every buddy in Quincy, right? And see if there's like a baseline. I don't know how that would work because you don't want to throw, here's what I'm, here's what I'm trying to advocate against. So the courthouse probably does have mold issues. It's probably not the only business, even county, well, no. you know, supported and, and that, yes, some that has Some of these people probably have it in their homes too, yes. Right. So, and so that's, I think you, that's what the county's trying to say is, yeah. look, mold's everywhere. How do you, how do you know it's here? Yes. How do but you stop? obviously they've done the testing and this building has a freaking problem. I get it, but how do you stop then the like, uh, me too, me too. I know, but you've got, you've got, Mold, you've got a lot. I mean, that's, I was on that Zoom call last night. That's a, that's a, I was, there was 125 people on that Zoom call last night. I think the county's had 70 some people who are complaining of some kind of symptoms. Mm -hmm. That's a lot. It is. So there's a lot of people that have had symptoms that have just been really quiet about it because they couldn't fathom that the problem is coming from the workplace. A lot of people. So the other thing too is even if you, so, you know, I'm not necessarily, so I'm for my friend getting better. I'm not hmm. for or against the courthouse or yeah. for or, or against the county, but one thing that is kind of like just a, against playing the system, like a, that's all I'm saying. An anecdotal no. piece of this is let's say you find a spore in the courthouse and then you find a spore in your home. In that no, if someone does a, a swab and they find that same spore in their nose. Okay, do you do you have proof that they're sick? Well, no, you don't. What if they've got symptoms? Like are you positive that the spore from that courthouse, the spore in your nose which by the way, this is quite a leap because you would have to find these things first. What's gonna happen is the courthouse, the county, they're gonna use their insurance. I mean, the insurance is gonna pay for it if it goes to somewhat, is it gonna be a hundred million dollar Well, I mean, you've got, tort, you've got tort liability, that's what yeah. it will be. We just don't have enough, and, uh, like you said, we don't have enough uh, of a baseline. Where does this mold grow? Is it only here? Is it in your house? Is it only, are you only susceptible? And it's just me being the cynic, but I'm not, and I do fully agree with like, if somebody's affected by it and it is only there, yes. But I don't think you can just say, here, use your $100 million insurance policy to cover everybody who's got some kind of symptom. Yeah. And how do you get, how do you gauge that? Like, how do you You're gonna have every personal that? injury every lawyer one. from Chicago to St. Yeah, Louis Yeah, I was just here. thinking like the next commercial. Have you worked at the Adams uh -huh. County Courthouse? Yeah. Do you or have mold there. spores? Yeah, I mean, yeah. have you even I been mean, there? Because what about all of the- What about David covering Bradley Yon? What about me covering Tim Bleefnick? I mean, yeah, we're all in prisoners? there all the time. The prisoners, yeah, the prisoners who are hauling out oh, the boxes. Yeah, we're screwed, guys. They've got the maintenance department has prisoners hauling out the moldy boxes right now. No. Right. Oh yeah. You're oh yeah. You're kidding me. Nope. Oh, guys, we got to get smarter. <laughs> Holy yeah. moly. Good times, good times. So it, It's big stuff. And here's what I, I, I just want to be clear that I'm not, 
if you've been affected by it, of course, I think you do deserve some, you know, like somebody owes you something as far as like an explanation, as far as, you know, pay time off to get yourself better. Uh, if you have something in your home, I would hope there's some kind of liability for somebody who sells you that, but I don't know that I would, I don't know that I would know if my home has mold. Like, how, how do I know that if I'm, if I don't, maybe I have symptoms of every day getting 40 tour. You know, like I'm getting older, so. 42 are. You know, like I'm getting older, so okay, yeah, I have things that are happening to me. Can I say it's mold? You know what I mean? Like where's the where's the line? I don't so know. So you get a blood test. They have tests. And they yeah, tell they'll you? Do, they'll do the test. It's 135 yeah. bucks. Okay. You go get a mold test and you can go, um, you can get mold tests for, for your home. You can go out and, and order them online. They come to your home, uh, you test for mold. It's going to say, every house it's gonna has say a mold. yes or no. I mean, I think every house has a mold. So, yeah. So, part of this too is, and I've heard it's the like other radon side of this or whatever. Radon's, radon's a lot different because that's coming from the earth and that's an unearthly element. And there's radon mit mitigation systems that you can put in your house for yeah. five, six hundred bucks to get to blow it out the side of your house, yeah. pull it up and throw it outside of the building. But mold is different in that it's a little bit more insidious. But one thing about mold though is all of us have microbiomes and we um if you believe in uh like i'm not gonna i don't want to piss off the creationists i think we can but you know as we evolved from from single cell or organisms from you know all the way up until what we are now you know when god made us and you stole our ribs uh when we got to this point we all are living in a moldy environment we're all living in black mold we're all living in i mean this planet's pretty dangerous. It's trying to kill us, okay? But I know why. The issue with the courthouse we're terrible. is there is <laughs> yeah, we're we are. Terrible. Yeah. But the issue is with the courthouse is there is mold in the courthouse. Yeah. Now is is that the is that the reason why there's 70 people sick? I don't know. And how many of those 70? Let's say there's 22 that are really sick. Maybe there's 50 that right. are just trying to do a money sure. grab. Sure. And everybody's going to have their own opinion their own opinion about it. But there is mold in the courthouse. Yes. Now, and and you can say, well, yeah, Frank, there's mold in your house, and maybe there's mold, you know, somewhere in the main. Center. In your car, probably in mine. Yeah, probably. Yes. Yeah, because my kids leave everything. Oh the yeah. In there. Yeah. Oh. There's yeah. Sure. Yeah. There, there's mold. There's so. mold everywhere I go. The mall, the Quincy Mall, town center. There's mold everywhere. But what? Yeah. But what's going to happen though is as time goes on, humans will get more and more educated about mold, and there will be more regulations. There will be annual checks in all government buildings for mold. Right now, you know, I'm in water treatment, so we do checks for Legionella mm -hmm. in places, right? What will happen is over time, this will set a precedent and places will try to protect themselves from I'm gonna mold. Get in, and, I'm going to get in the mold you know, business. I think I am. Mold, mold re remediation? You have to do just, right Serious just, dollars. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, well, I think the company that they paid to do the test, I don't think they, they want no part of trying to fungus do the mediation among us. now. No, this is the Safe Start. Oh, okay. Safe Start's yeah. the one who did it. But I think after sta Safe Start basically went in and went scorched earth on this Zoom call and basically just blew everything out of the water, um, yeah, they won't be doing a remediation. The county's going to have to find somebody else to do it. And uh, so we'll see what happens there but you know I, you know again it's something that uh it's i'm not it, making a, light of it it's a I'm, serious problem it is, it is yeah i'm not making problem. light of it i'm just so, trying um, to be the antithesis right always always yeah that's on job. that note uh we are going to take our break and uh we will see you all in two weeks frankie will have his show we'll have uh, somebody else in this chair in, in these chairs we'll rotate them frankie will be back but again watch his new or listen to his new show because it's going to be an audio show yeah but we're gonna yeah. have a lot of fun um regardless and uh, I'm, i may even go on frankie's show from time yeah. to time too so oh, it's, yeah. gonna, it's gonna be a lot oh, of fun yeah. so and in the meantime celebrate life liberty and the pursuit of happiness right and being married 31 years yes. there you go absolutely Congrats. happy thank you. fourth Wait. thank you Cheers, appreciate guys. it guys see you guys Cheers. Have, a great, have a great holiday guys happy fourth bye-bye good job guys david see we were fine. was it that was okay right we come off the i feel like david, i got a little sketch but...